us and Deftones would take turns headlining, so one of us would be second, one of us would be headlining. Um, but I'd be playing an acoustic show with Cake one night, and then a show with Deftones, and then, you know, it was just, it was a really, really sweet time. Before we move on, yeah. because we're talking about Deftones, mm. give us a good cheese story. Mm. Okay. The best cheese story I know is uh, he was dating this woman. I don't even think I knew that he was dating her, but she took a shine to me and we were going to go out and I, I sought cheese blessing. You know, I just sort of said, Hey, like, I think you dated this woman or something like that. Like you cool. He's like, yeah, go for it, man. Have fun. You know? And we, and so me and this woman went out, you know, had our fun. And then, <laughs> and then for some, whatever reason, she got like really, I don't think he thought, I don't know, we were going to fuck or something like that. I'm not sure what he thought, <laughs> um, but we did. And and then he was really mad. But in this really chi sort of wonderful way where he was furious and I heard about it. And I, like everyone, I think everyone was trying to be gossiping like, oh, man, she's kind of pissed, man. <laughs> and I was like, no, he's not. And, and I, ne- I knew he wasn't, but but it was funny. It was sort of the talk of the town for a hot minute. Um, and so, but me and she hung out and, you know, I didn't drink, but he, you know, he was all drunken poet chi and we just sort of, you know, hugged it out kind of thing. So that's my favorite memory of chi is just his his sweet, wild, woolly self. And then God, there's so many memories. I mean, once I was playing an acoustic show and he came out and did his badass fucking Bukowski drunken poet bit like before I played and we had this wonderful night together. We were just kind of, we were the two sensitive philosopher people in our respective yeah. groups. Yeah. We, we were the ones that liked to stay up talking until fucking two in the morning. And, and you know, he wasn't, he was doing tons of drugs. I wasn't doing any drugs at that time, but I had done tons of drugs and just had a kind of a wild mind. And so we would just fucking nerd out together for days. Um, He was just a really, really sweet person. I mean, endless memories of watching him on stage. I mean, he, the energy that he gave, the tireless, furious joy that he would give out really inspired me as a performer and as a person. And there there are times still when I'm tired or I'm not feeling it, I literally think of Chi shaking his fucking hair and his crazy ass teeth and screaming and sweating and i just think i've got a little more i know i've got a little more energy because she would have and so he's just a he's you know uh, you know it's everyone gets a little bit more kind of glowy when they're gone but he already glowed when he was here and that's a great thing to say that's a great great quote yeah Yeah. i mean it's i mean you know that at night we live is named Mm -hmm. for him and that was i mean it's literally about a dream i had about him after i'd visited him in hospital and he was in this crazy coma and everyone was rooting for him to come out. And I was, I think the dream was me coming to terms with the, that he wasn't yeah. going to come out. Um, but I'd hung out with him and his eyes were open and I could sort of look at him and, you know, and, and touch him and be close to him and sing to him. And I don't know what he experienced or what he didn't, but then he was gone. And, um, and it was probably the sweetest and closest Sean and I ever were was recording that song at night we live and we kind of traded stories about him and other people we'd lost and so he was just he was an impossibly and is an impossibly large figure in my musical and kind of emotional landscape so thanks for us bringing him up oh, thank you for telling me. yeah, yeah. I, I met him actually at that snot show that you guys played and i'll never forget um he grabbed my hand with both hands and yes like, thank you yeah thank you like thank, i was 16 years old yeah. And I was just like, and why would, are you thanking me? And he would look right, yeah, he would look right through <laughs> oh, you, man. Yeah, I was like, this and guy that, is a that, pro- that, this guy's a prophet. That like, perfect this, image, yeah, that just yeah. oh just that hold. And again, yeah, he signed he that, really that, taught sign, me about he that. that over there for me oh, too, I so. love that. <laughs> I love that you have him here. Yeah. That's that's really good. Yeah, he's um he I mean, yeah, I I essentially wrote the the eulogy that that appeared in a Sacramento paper that was just actually a, a ended up being sort of I wrote a letter to him basically yeah, um, cool. and and it ended up getting printed um, and so it was really I'm really happy about that and then, then when we were celebrating him and his life at a at a sort of a local sacto kind of award show ce- music celebration thing I sang while uh, his son was next to me and, and just it was so there's been a lot of I mean Honestly. me and his mom have been real tight and yeah they're just wonderful people so love to all of cheese left ones.
Bang!